All right, it is 9.17 a.m. on um, January the 12th. Um, three stocks on the main screen. USWS is on the first part right here. And um, looking at the long-term chart, it does look like something I would be short biased. It has that, um, if you go back further, it has that sushi chart. Well, not really sushi chart because it didn't have a big gap down, but it just it's just been downtrending. Um, although this could also mean that it's going to have a lot of shorts involved with this that might squeeze the stock. That might be why it's up 90% today. All I needed was some news to do that. But we've had some large volume days, right? Especially yesterday. So there could be plenty of people who are going to be selling their shares into this. As well as the fact that it just shows on the chart. It doesn't seem to spike for very long. So this could very well be a short. The only issue is that. Um, with E-Trade, you cannot short things under a dollar, so there are only a few points when I'm able to short this if I want to. Maybe if it does like a nice breakout over this 104 area, tries to break the uh, pre-market highs, it fails, and then puts up um, a lower high or something like that, or a double top, um, something like that. Maybe I'd consider a short position, otherwise I might not just trade this, I'll definitely watch it. Um, LJPC, hmm, doesn't look bad for a chart. It didn't spike the other day, which is always nice. After hours, this is pretty nice. Um, looking at a yearly chart, doesn't look too nice, although it does seem like it can hold its gains for several days, at least in theory. It can definitely hold, which is good. It traded lots of volume, maybe bag holders selling into this, but it is further back it's six months ago this one is not looking too bad I don't like this long-term chart but I like that it shows that it can spike for more than one day unlike USWS IRIX is a first day um, but it's like a breakout over this range here so for all we know this could be a short squeeze as well doesn't seem to have traded much previously there is definitely resistance in the 470s. Mm, not the best chart. Could be another short consideration. Okay, this one is readily available for shorting. That's why when I check if I can short stuff, I do it way above the current price. That's interesting, only a million, um, 11 million share flow and it's easily shortable like that. Uh, these are the main stocks that I'm going to be watching. I have some on the other screen. They're mostly older stocks that I've looked at before, um, including BNGO, ALPP, FTFT. So I'm going to look at the chat and see if there's any other stocks I'll be interested in. Um, otherwise, this is all I have for right now. All right, it is 9.34 a.m. USWS had one brief spike uh, towards the $1 level and immediately got rejected. You could play off of lower highs, lower high, lower high, maybe a double top here, another double top. It's just overall fading, um, at least on the upside, but I, I don't feel bad missing these types of shorts. I, again, I have to short if, if I wanted to, and I'm not really trying to be short unless it puts up a perfect pattern and this wasn't it even though we have the nice um you know levels right there in the highs you know if it just does it for one minute and immediately rejects the next minute i can't get upset at that that's just not something i'm going to trade uh, pretty nice downtrend but i'm not i'm not going to be salty at least i shouldn't be salty because i mean one of these one minute things is just um not really something I want to do. Um, LJPC maybe potential inverse head and shoulders for me. Maybe we got the first shoulder going on. We'll keep watching that. Um, I or I exited all this till later, but it doesn't have much volume. Um, can easily be manipulated. It kind of faded here and it had a nice spike on buying action. I might remove this stock just because it's you know not a lot of volume. So I'll just keep watching. Definitely a potential inverse head and shoulders course if it you know plays out and everything we'll be watching this USWS very interesting um, if it were to spike back and maybe consolidate at the ones you know that would be a bullish sign so 
not probably probably not gonna try this one but it was it was nice to see it even though it was just for one minute um, that rejection right there all right it's uh, 946 I tried to buy 200 shares of my speak he's in the work I press I tried it two times and now the price just isn't where I want it to be I would have bought it in the 470s why would I consider buying this because it's holding the 460 breakout level which means it could do a follow-up breakout um, it's at 489 ish it could definitely have resistance here but it doesn't have the volume that we're having now I would be I would be long this but I, I wasn't I pressed the speed keys twice I could still get in but now there's more people on the ask still looking strong but it has to hold this level at 460 I would definitely get out I might already be out it doesn't matter I'm just upset that the speed keys didn't work there I don't know what I did wrong I guess I had a double click it. I don't know I'm not some kind of boomer these speed keys just don't work so well on e-trade it could still do it but the problem now is that there's definitely more people on the ask than when I was interested I don't like this wick action right here volume isn't the best but that means it could really spike with just a little more volume I'm not really forming an inverse head and shoulders this looks like spaghetti monster USWS try to bounce back um, it didn't do too much 460 ooh I would I would be getting out right here actually even if it does the breakout later well actually yeah I would probably get out I really don't know because I'm not in the trade but you know I don't like that it did that although it's just a wick you know the level 2 definitely shows more people on the ask um, than when I was interested in buying somewhere around here which is unfortunate but that's you know that's totally fine it could still do it here it could definitely still do it um, 480 has some definite support not support resistance definitely a lot of people on the ask with the volume seems to be picking up yeah I would probably be selling it even if it does a breakout now over five um, just because it's you know it's not it's not doing it very nicely it's a bit too jumpy I would already be out of this setup even if it plays out don't like the level 2 action and just to make sure I'm not in any orders I would already be out though this thing could still very well break out 5 which be which would be impressive but again the level 2 just looks bad a little bit of red volume makes it drop a lot too a lot of green volume and it doesn't really break out I would I'll definitely keep watching this but I would already be out of this stock no other setups here that I'm really looking at except for maybe some kind of a short setup with BNGO if it were to bounce back maybe if it bounces back I like that it's making lower highs and then like a double top here had a follow up spike at 586 maybe maybe I already missed the entry here but if it were to do maybe I like how I cracked this level too uh, perhaps I'm too late to shore this one but that, this was an interesting setup would already be out of this I'll make an update later to see what it does kind of annoy the speed keys in the work I probably had to click on it twice like the way it is right there I guess I, I have zero clue what was the problem there I was probably probably just something little um, that was wrong and me trying to get in a trade um, maybe I just did something wrong I don't know but very nice attempt here to get towards five again a lot of reasons why this didn't work a lot of volume traded before all these things but 
you know, there's nothing wrong with trying. Okay, it's uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Um, I was actually considering going short here, but the issue was that I um, was worried about 440 being a level of support. Maybe it was going to bounce at 440 and then fail to get back to the 460s. So I would have shorted that, um, that idea. The level 2 is actually backwards on this stock. If you see a lot of people on the bid, that means it's going to keep going down. If you see a lot of people on the ask, that means it's going to keep going up. It's literally backwards. I don't know why is it like that. Uh, right now it looks pretty even, um, more or less, but if you see a lot of people on the bid, it's just going to fade away. I don't know why it does that. It's just a very um, backwards level 2. Although it doesn't seem to be doing it so much the way I said, but the level two is very, very manipulative um, on this stock. It's it's very, uh, very interesting to know. Definitely try to go short here, um, but again, I was kind of worried about it. Um, you know, holding 440. It really trades like a low float stock, so it moves very, very quickly. Again, had it have held 440, spiked. And then you know fail to get above 460 or maybe just a tiny wick that would have been a very nice short um, maybe I still have that chance but you know not as ideal as the way I, I wanted it to be LJPC is not tradable BNGL just kind of looking at it not really considering um, shorting this stock although it is something that I'm watching Okay, it's uh, 10 7 a.m. TLRY is doing a nice breakout. Um, I saw this pretty late. Um, I picked it up from the chat, and it's a 1275 multi day breakout. If we look at a multi day chart, very impressive breakout over the range. Um, the issue here is that I saw it late, and if I were to, if I would have bought this stock, I would have wanted it to have dropped back to the level and do a confirmed breakout and it didn't do that I missed it um, I guess the confirmed breakout give or take would have been here because it cracked this level right bounced as high as 12.95 went back to the level and then it did this nice breakout so it's pretty much too late and if this thing were to drop all the way back to the breakout level of roughly 12.75 maybe 12.80 that would just be extremely bearish at that point so this is a nice setup again just a nice breakout not a nice chart there but here a nice nice chart breakout over the 1275 level give or take IRIX um, I really don't regret wanting to buy here because you know you never know if it's gonna work or not it did put up a chance with low volume this thing can spike a lot so it's a low flow too um, definitely something that could be squeezing a lot of shorts so it didn't work out here but I, I don't feel bad at all I would have probably have gotten out for a profit if anything um, break even just because it did do a nice run up I was interested in buying in the 470s plenty of time it was above the range that I bought to get out for a small um, green you know uh, cut um, just didn't go your way but you didn't lose any money um, yeah just don't feel bad at all and again I would have shorted it here too um, in the four uh, I would have shorted it if it tried and then put up another range kind of like this one and this one just an even smaller one below 460 or maybe just some small wick sticking now I didn't really do what it did it a bit lower here which to me is too far for me to risk it because 440 could have definitely have been support um, but no, it, it did a very nice downtrend here, the $4. Uh, maybe no trades today. I'll, I'll keep looking. LJPC just keeps looking um, ugly. And yeah, I'm going to definitely stick with that 1040 rule, even if that means I just stay here for 40 minutes and nothing happens. No setups. I can learn, and at least I can't, you know, be angry or salty that I missed a setup. Uh, because I followed my plans, maybe it does something at 11, a nice setup, but I'll keep watching for now, no, no clear setups or things that I want to trade right now. Okay, it's not too much later, BNGO, I actually considered buying here, but I feel like I'm just being a little too much. 
of I feel like I'm having too much FOMO fear of missing out so you know I'm trying to catch myself before I actually do it but I'm considering maybe a long here risking off of 540 kind of reminds me of yesterday puts off a higher low um, yes it had this range here it had a double bottom kind of broke out failed made a low here uh, made a wick here made a low here which was better then it had a spike towards the low rejected it but if this thing holds 540 in theory it could start up trending um, for a while and that would be a setup to be interested in um, again I just don't know if I'm being too chasey if I'm trading if I'm chasing trades but really looking like something that could do a nice breakout I'm gonna fucking speak keys don't work dude I don't know what's the problem there we go <laughs> shitty execution because speakeasies are being dumb um, I have to be out if it fails 540 that's an important level just looking for maybe a reversal because it is putting up a higher low it just reminds me so much of yesterday with the other trade it could be FOMO here but I have a clear level at 540 to get out if it fails And I'm fucking out. Shit. Even though it was a tiny ass wick, I don't like that. Could definitely do a big downtrend here. That was $13. That was probably a bad FOMO trade, but the setup wasn't too bad. Um, it could still do it, but don't like it when it does these wicky things. Funny how this stock, I've been watching the to do a potential short I go long but I don't feel too bad because um, because I fall in the plane well again if this thing were to have held 540 it would have a lot of resistance to fight but it could do a nice squeeze I bet a lot of people are short the stock and they would be squeezed but it didn't do that here I got out had I still been holding that would have been bad big random not random but big candle can't do too much about that shitty entry cuz uh speakies were being bad this is gonna be one of the worser trades the plan wasn't bad um, but the execution the was horrible at least getting long I should have not have traded it just cuz of my speak he's not working no day trades here so I probably won't trade the rest of the day um, tomorrow I will have do t two day trades, but otherwise I'm going to do screenshots and uh, yeah, you know, it, it sucks, but I'm going to rewatch this and I'm going to learn a lot from this. That's all I got for now. Um, again, had I have not have gotten out, you know, I stuck by my plane. I would have, I would be crying here in the 532s and I got out at 538s. That's not too bad. I don't, I don't, I don't mind that at all. But probably shouldn't have gotten in because my entry was shit because of the speed keys. I would have gone in in the 542s. All right. Okay, it's 10:26 uh, a.m. Um, I am gonna cut off early uh, just because I don't have any more day trades. Um, you know, I can still look till 10 and 40, but uh, likely won't trade anything. And if I do, I would have to log in to interact with brokers. There's still a chance, but probably very likely 80% are going to trade. Um, LJPC finally, uh, maybe you can call this an inverse head and shoulders, but not, not really. Um, I guess you could have. Was too busy looking at uh, Mr. Bingo. And uh, yeah, just never traded it. Did the spaghetti monster fading here? Although it did look like maybe inverse hand shoulders, but this one's a this is a pretty crappy setup because um, it's just not perfect. It's it's very flat. Not not a very good chart. IR um, IX wouldn't have regretted buying um, for a breakout. You just have to cut losses um, quickly. I would have probably still sold for a profit because I would have gone out because of the price action not looking good 
um, don't regret that at all would have definitely have traded that I should have did with um, bingo what I did here that when I wasn't able to get my speed keys when I didn't get in my entry when I wanted cuz because I don't know what happened um, you know I should have maybe clicked back and forth a bunch of times I don't know um, but I should have just not have traded it but that, that that's totally fine I'll get to bingo in a moment um, and then right here, um, you know, it was holding right below that 460 level. Eventually, this was the level to be short. When it did it, I wanted it to go one more time to get in the 460s, maybe, you know, lower than this range. I've said this before a bunch of times, but um, I pretty much um, was too scared to get short here because it was still once in a while, especially here, right? I'm trading above the breakout level of 460 but when it got to here I was interested in shorting it and you know, I didn't short immediately uh, it did do a nice downtrend learned a lot from this uh, again don't feel I don't feel bad trying to buy there it could have very well have you know broken five and did a nice run and considering how bad the chart might look to some people it could have definitely led to a big short squeeze so I don't regret this one at all TLR wine uh, just saw this later just a nice breakout over 1275 ish and bingo I don't feel bad the setup wasn't too bad the only problem is that I'm buying a stock this is the one thing I didn't consider and I think I'll make an adjustment and learn from this I shouldn't have I don't think I should have you know this was uh, uh, you know this stock was still up on the day and it did this I think the chances that of it, um, you know, doing this right here and then this could have been a higher low and maybe it's starting an uptrend. That could have been more likely if the stock was up on the day or at least break even. Um, instead, it was down on the day. So this big red candle, um, you know, it's just unfortunate. 151 million share flow. It doesn't seem to trade one, like one, but I don't regret the setup too much. Um, but looking back now. Um, I won't do this again if the stock is down on the day. I think that's something I should take into consideration. Uh, it could have very well worked out, but I probably shouldn't have gotten in at such a bad entry with my speed keys not working there. That was stupid. I should have just not have traded there. Um, you know, I, it was fine that I tried though, but I probably shouldn't have gotten in because of speed because I didn't just I just didn't get in the price I wanted to, even if it's just a few pennies. You know, if I trade a larger position, it could matter more. It's only thirteen dollars of uh, loss because I cut losses quickly. Had I have been a bag holder, I would have, you know, I mean, as low as five twenty-six, I would have been pretty bad. Um, so that's why you cut losses quickly. At the end of the day, it's not the worst um, trade. Although I can, I rank it pretty low compared to the others. Uh, tomorrow I have two day trades available. I just have to keep getting better. Um, I'll just go ahead and work on my business now and study but yeah that's all I got. A lot of lessons learned and that's that's a very very good thing. I think that's the best thing about it as well as the fact that I had a plan to risk off the 540s. The moment it cracked it I got out. Pissed me off but you know it saved me from this horrible downtrend. Would have broken the pattern. Um, but had you have been a bag holder that you know that wouldn't go so well could, te could have definitely have played out but I'm not gonna do this setup anymore if the stock is um, red on the day even though it's doing some kind of an uptrend now I could do an inverse head and shoulders here um, you know that could very well work out just not when I wanted it to so that's totally fine Okay, it is uh, 11.05 a.m. Um, inverse head and shoulders with BNGO, shoulder, head, shoulder. Um, I guess the pattern that I was interested in, um, I guess it eventually worked, but I wouldn't have bought this because this is a higher, uh, not a higher low, a lower low, maybe here, but uh, then again, um, I'm just going to have to study this. Uh, this needs more study for me to consider this, uh, especially because it's down on the day. I want to see how much of an impact that is. Uh, overall, uh, not the worst setup. Definitely a bad entry. Probably uh, will consider this type of setup. Um, 
on the stock that's up on the day, but definitely not with, um, you know, a, a stock down on the day, at least for now. TLRY just never really traded. It looks like it did an inverse head and shoulders too, actually. Pretty impressive, although it's a $13 stock. IRIX faded, um, got as low as 350, what is that, 53, that's pretty impressive, would, would not have held all the way there, but, you know, just a, nice to see that it did do a nice drop, I was very right on it downtrending, although for that brief moment it could have turned out to be a big squeezer, it didn't do it, um, don't regret that at all. LJPC, just a really um, boring stock, no real setups that I wanted to trade. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna call it off here. Gonna learn from BNGO. Um, definitely gonna rewatch the the trade I did there. But uh, overall, I think a pretty good trading day. I think I learned a lot, and uh, I definitely have to keep going. Uh, pretty good.